Bond denied the young man accused of being the getaway driver and the deadly shooting of a seven-year-old girl is going to stay behind bars. 17-year-old Juwan McDonald will also be tried as an adult as he faces a count of first-degree murder. Prosecutors say McDonald was behind the wheel when seven-year-old Araya Jackson was fatally shot as she was coming home from school. Megan Woods joins us live. She's in Pontiac tonight with more. Megan. Well, when we spoke to Oakland County Sheriff last week, he was very firm in the role of McDonald as the accused driver is still a major role in the death of Araya Jackson, just a seven year old. So even though McDonald is a 17 year old, he's charged as an adult. We saw in court today that they took it one step further. We have no means of assuring public safety. Therefore, we would request that bond be denied. The judge did deny McDonald's bond, but attorneys took it one step further, asking if McDonald could stay housed in the county jail. His conduct in this case specifically targeted juveniles. The, the deceased victim was a seven-year-old girl. There were also three other children in the car. Um, and I believe the Oakland County Jail is the appropriate place for this defendant. McDonald's attorney, Neil Rockhine, fought those conditions. The final decision is pending on another judge's review. Now that three of what investigators are calling four block gang members are in custody in connection to seven-year-old Araya Jackson's death, community leaders like Pastor Douglas Jones of Welcome Missionary Baptist Church say it's a new dawn for Pontiac. The fact that they were able to uh, secure three of those persons right away. And, and when I say right away, in a short period of time. What that is said is, you know what? If we speak up, if we do something, we can stop this right away. While this case moves forward, Pastor Jones says, so will the community. What's next is to say, we got to keep up the keep up the pressure. We're saying we got to stop all of this happening within our neighborhood. Let's make our neighborhoods a safe neighborhood then that makes it a safe city. And to do that, he says the sheriff's office, the mayor, uh, local organizations, churches, they're all coming together. Local organizations like Pontiac Universal Crime, they're all coming together to, uh, you know, make this a better place, to make it a safer city. And as for the other two suspects in, involved in this case, Justin Rouser is the suspected shooter. He's facing 10 felony charges, and Dejan Bryant is charged with lying to a peace officer during a violent crime investigation so there's still so much to come in this case back to you yeah it really is Megan I know you talked to the family what what is Arias family saying about all of this I, I know they're devastated yeah, we haven't spoken to them on camera, but what they do tell me is they're grateful for all the community support that they've been yeah, receiving. They have. All right, Megan, thank you.